everyone. Are you all well? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much for having me. My name's Tom. Uh, I'm not from around here. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> oh, posh twat. Nice to be here. Thank you very much. That's the collective term for people like me. Posh twat. You get skinny bitches. You get fat bastards. You get vegan pricks. <laughs> and I'm a posh twat. Hello. <laughs> You gave me a round of applause there. Thank you very much. It's very kind. Uh, I've always wanted to be a performer. My dad was an army officer. That's why I'm posh. Uh, it's quite common for kids of army officers to follow their father's footsteps into the military as well. But I think doubts were raised at about age seven when my parents were summoned to the foot of the stairs to watch me perform my one-man version of Cats the Musical. <laughs> I was there at the very top with ears, whiskers, nose, tail. Full cat leotard. I'm getting to it, don't orgasm too quickly. <laughs> Slinking down the banister going, Macavity's a mystery cat. <laughs> uh, he's called the hidden paw. I remember my father looking at me. Well, you've missed some vital information for the rest of the show. Uh, we'll just rewind the whole thing. So, my father's an army officer. It's quite cold. Don't you sit the fuck down as well. I can't. Am I on punk? I've never been to Liverpool before. Is this what you fuckers do to everyone? This is not fair. I was doing Cats the Musical on the stairs. And now you're just fucking... Are we all quite settled? <laughs> Blow your nose, mate. That was fun. <laughs> that was good. That was amazing. Oh, and you're dying as well. That's great. Okay. Where's where are they? Where are they? Where, is that you? Who's who's sitting here? So I was slinking down the banister going, my cavity is a mystery cat. My father was looking at me <laughs> with the same expression of a man staring down a toilet bowl trying to figure out just how he's managed to produce such a remarkably large shit. <laughs> staring over my mum like, you've poisoned the well. I used to act camp as a kid because it would get me out of punishments. Give us a cheer if you ever got smacked as a kid. Hey, we got abused as children! <laughs> yeah! I figured out very quickly the best way to get out of being smacked as a kid. All you had to do if you wanted to get out of it, pretend you like it. <laughs> I swear to fuck. My dad would come back after a hard day's work, see me bouncing on the couch. Get here, you fucking Jesus Christ! <laughs> He'd see you bounce on the house and say, Gay little bastard, grab me, stick me over his knee, move the cat tail out the way. <laughs> Smack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smack harder. <laughs> really want to mess with him, put his name in the last one. Smack Nicholas. <laughs> Keep the ring on. <laughs> I don't know how to explain where we got to this, but we're all getting smacked. There's a feline sort of theme going on. You'll get your, you'll catch up, I'm sure. People always ask if I wanted to join the military after my dad as well. It's like, no, no. My dad got to the very top of the entire military. Like, he completed the game. And when I say completed the game, I don't just mean story mode. I mean every bonus feature, every outfit, every side mission. And when I say mission, I don't mean Sunday morning come down, oh my God, I need a Lucas aid, but Sainsbury's is like effort. <laughs> I mean, literal missions. If I joined the military, that would be a life living in my dad's shadow, and no kid wants that. I mean, just ask the American musician and film star Will Smith's kids. And at least he could hook his kids up, you know, stick them in a movie, put them in a music video. My dad can't do that with wars. <laughs> Coming next summer! <laughs> Siri, 
area too. <laughs> this time it's seriouser. <laughs> I come in, in a helicopter. <gasps> Jazz hands up. <laughs> Come on, guys, get with me! Oh, I drive my tanks back and forth. I drive my tanks back and forth. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? So a posh twat. Tell you how posh I am. I went to an all boys boarding school from the age of six because my parents loved me. Just sort of give you the idea of the sort of kids I went to school with. We're the ones who wore Jack Wills hoodies and listened to rap music while eating sugar snap peas. Didn't realise why that makes no sense. Oh my God, Biggie Smalls just gets me, yeah? <laughs> we don't. We'd run away from the pigs, but ours were in blankets. <laughs> we're the guys in the WhatsApp group nowadays. We'll send you a fist bump emoji. But it'll be a black one, because that's not the colour we are. Banter! <laughs> it's not cool. You can just see everyone looking around for the only black person to see if that's okay. Are they laughing? Are they laughing? Is that okay? Is that all right? Are we all right? Is that fine? I think that's fine. I got, I got bullied badly at school. No, sorry, they weren't bad at bullying. You've got a nice haircut and your mum's got a reasonable job. No, no, no. They were really good at bullying. It's because I was into drama and that was gay! You gay lord, you're in a fucking drama, you gay lord! Hasn't affected me whatsoever. Because <laughs> people always ask in an all boys boarding school if anything sexual happened between the boys. It's not that it didn't happen. It's just I was never popular enough to ever get invited. <laughs> Seriously, all the cool kids would be behind the tuck shop and I'd be like, hey guys, what are you up to? And they're like, huh, we're um, wanking over biscuits. <laughs> cool, can I join? No. You're not cool enough to wank over biscuits. <laughs> Send me off to my room with custard creams and broken dreams. <laughs> but it all changed. It all changed. Because in my second last year, when I was 17, in a school of 600 boys, they went co-ed. And they let, what does that mean? <laughs> I've got your back, mate they let 22 girls join. Yeah, like, fucking deal with that, guys! I don't know if you've seen Jurassic Park, but you know the scene where they're lowering the cow into the raptor pen? Like, fucking, well, yeah, as soon as we heard, despite the fact none of us had ever seen a vagina before in our lives, every boy instantly became an expert. They're like, right, guys, go get ready for the D-Day landings. Blah, 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 blah. I wasn't, I was like, new friends in drama class, amazing. We can finally do guys and dolls. <laughs> and I don't have to wear the dress. <laughs> Which is a shame. They got us into the sixth form common room. Like, right, guys, when they get here, blah, 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 any holes a goal. If you want to make a girl come, two fingers, corkscrew, insert, one, two, three, guaranteed orgasm. <laughs> Are you sure that works? <laughs> well, it worked on Malcolm. Oh. We thought we were going to destroy those women, but of course we didn't, because anyone who knows a 17-year-old boy and a 17-year-old girl knows that a 17-year-old girl is by far the more sexually powerful than a 17-year-old boy. I'll give you an example. A premiership footballer is one of the most sought-after, well-paid jobs a guy could ever hope to get. And a 17-year-old girl has the power, should she wish, to destroy that man's career in one evening. <laughs> You put a 17-year-old boy in at a Victoria's Secret Fashion Week. Let's see how much damage that cunt's doing. <laughs> With his bum fluff and his pogs. <laughs> so when these girls arrive, like some alien species over the brow of a hill, just going boobs, 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 every boy shat themselves. As soon as they walked in, it was like floor is lava. Oh my God, that's so beautiful! Do you know how hard it is to sit your A-levels with a constant erection? It's impossible. The only time we crossed our fingers was just to pray they didn't come near us. The girls were coming around the back of the tuck shop to the cool kids going, hey, cool boys, what are you up to? And the cool boys were like, oh, we're wanking over the beer. Because <laughs> <laughs> it 
because for the life of me, I don't know what the female equivalent to wanking over biscuits is. <laughs> Chocolate finger. <laughs> finger of fudge, lion bar. Circle of women taking turns squatting on a Toblerone. To be fair, actually, not with the new Toblerone. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and breathe. <laughs> people don't tend to like posh people very much. Uh, they don't. Uh, and rightfully so a lot. But people like, the most posh people in the world are the monarchy, obviously. And do people like the monarchy here? You fucking know who are one person. Yeah, fight! Get up! <laughs> Now, I get the idea you can not like the idea of a monarchy, but you can't not like the queen, for example. She didn't ask to be queen. She didn't audition or anything. She just popped out of her mum like... <laughs> 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 I don't know what a royal vagina sounds like, but... <laughs> I'm assuming it's trumpets. <laughs> <laughs> And the doctor went, hello, your royal highness. It was a very formal doctor. Uh, you're going to be queen. And she went, oh, well, what does that mean? And he, he went, well, firstly, um, well done for speaking so quickly. <laughs> Basically, what happens is, from now on, for the rest of your life, whenever there's an event on, we cart you out. When people walk past you, wave. Then when they go, you can bugger off. Essentially, just a really elaborate Billy Bass fish. Do you remember those guys? Here's a little song I wrote, but want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay, yeah, please, be happy. <laughs> I've been in the, the same room as the Queen nine or ten times now. Uh, you, you lose track. And, uh, <laughs> and that woman is living a Groundhog Day recurring nightmare of a life. Any parent who had a kid who listened to Frozen and then had to listen to Let It Go, Let It Go all the time knows an ounce of her pain. Do you remember that summer that James Blunt, You're beautiful, came out? I wanted to murder people. The Queen has had to listen to the national anthem every single day, 10, 15 times a day for 65 years of her life. And she just never got to sing it herself. Every room she goes in, God save our grace. Every room she goes out, long live our noble. <laughs> also, not to mention, loosely translated to her, that song comes out as, Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Stay alive. We'll do a little example, uh, a little experiment. Uh, sorry, what's your name? Anthony. Anthony. Uh, apologies for what's about to happen to you, Anthony. <laughs> Everyone else can join in this as well. Anthony, imagine this for the rest of your life, when, wherever you went. Everyone, stay alive, Anthony! Anthony, don't die! Stay alive, Anthony! Anthony, don't die! Start clapping! Stay alive, Anthony! Anthony, don't die! Stay alive, Anthony! Anthony, don't die! Anthony! <laughs> You can't die, Anthony. <laughs> You're not allowed to die. <laughs> when you die, the monarchy falls, Anthony. <laughs> You're the last remaining emblem of a forgotten empire, Anthony. <laughs> you can't trust Charles. <laughs> he is weak. You've already let Kate in, haven't you, Anthony? <laughs> and Harry, Harry's about to marry an American. Oh! Oh! So stay alive, Anthony. Anthony, don't die. Freak you out a little bit, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. I'm totally joking. Die if you want to. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Tom Horton. You can get me on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. All the best. <laughs>